take all this land. Yep, all of it. All the victory points. Every single one. And if we check the war itself, oh, 100% capitulation. Goodbye, Turkey. Hey, I am Feedback Gaming. Hey. And this is the ultimate guide to console commands in Hearts of Iron 4. I will show you in this video a console command you aren't aware of, and it will totally change how you play the game. Guaranteed. Let's hop into a game. Oh, Germany for a change. Here we go. If you are playing a non-Iron Man game, aka not an achievement run, you can press the teal key. There it is, the teal key. I'm pressing it right now. Where is the teal key? It's just below escape. It's just the left of number one. It's just above tab. So wedge between those three keys, the teal key. I'll be real, is the key that least gets pressed. And with this, you can type Commands, unknown command. Why do you want to use console commands? Console commands allow you to modify the game to create your own custom scenarios. Maybe make difficult save games to send to your friends. Or maybe just speed the game up overall. Today, I will show you all the best ones. Let's go. First of all, PP. See this? Political power? You've got a thousand of it. And again, PP. Enter a thousand. If you want to use the same console command you just used, press the up arrow key and you can cycle through all the previous commands that you use. Up and down, up and down. Get it? And if you type one letter, you can press tab. It will give a suggestion of what possible commands exist that you might be going for. In this case, look at all these commands. Wow. Prices? What is this? Profile? What is this? But this one, PP. That's the one we wanted. More PP. Doesn't matter because we're at max PP. And what can you do with PP? Well, you can hire all the advisors. Oh, yeah. Every single one of them. Wow. Hey, this is an easy way of making one of the countries a little bit stronger at the start of the game. Next up, manpower. 1.34 million to 11 million. You can also enter a specific number. So you can say if you want to, 1,000. But don't forget, you can also subtract as well. It's a really good way of making an enemy a lot weaker. So minus 9999999. And again, zero manpower. And then we'll give them 1,000 manpower. There we go. 1K. So you ever wondered what it would be like to play as, let's say, Albania? and have 10 million manpower. Hey, move over to Albania, give them 10 million. That'll make an interesting game. Right. The next command is a universal command that doesn't actually change anything in game. It just gives you the option to open up more tools and that is T debug, press enter. So now when you hover your mouse over, you gain lots of detailed information, but there are two things here that are quite useful. Can you see that? Province ID, 982, that's pretty useful. State ID, 104, Bosnia, that's pretty useful. And also you've also got, if you can see the word Yug, that is the tag for that specific country. So if I want to change to Yug, I wonder what Yug could be, let's find out. Tag Y-U-G. Enter. Oh, it was Yugoslavia. Who would have known? Now we are playing as the nation of Yugoslavia. And you can do the same. Let's say Bulgaria. Tag. So what does it say there? B-U-L. Enter. We're now playing as Bulgaria. Wow, it's that easy. And also, these are all within a state. And the state ID is there. 211. And you're probably wondering, why do I need to know what the state ID is? Oh, I'm glad you asked. Hit tab. And we're going to type in add underscore core. And then type in the state ID. 184. Thrace is now a core of Bulgaria. Claim and a core. Can we go a bit further than that? Let's go again. So up arrow to select the previous one. And then type in the state ID. 341. This state has now got a core for Bulgaria. Wow, Dave, I don't own this territory. Therefore, I can't take advantage of the core. Correct. Press tab. Occupation. Paint. Press enter. Oh, 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 oh. There we go. And this one too. Turn off occupation paint. Up arrow. Press enter. And there we go. Cause of Bulgaria. Bulgaria has expanded. Could I create Greater Bulgaria in 1936? And how would that affect the AI? And how would it affect the overall game outcome? So many scenarios. This is a spicy command. Teal key, IC, or if you want, the full name, Instant Construction. Instant Construction has been enabled. Then we go into Construction and we drop some civilian factories. Yeah, one there, one there, one there, one there. And we drop some infrastructure. You know what, max infrastructure for the whole nation. And then we wait a single day. Oh, wow. So many factories. Amazing. Be aware that AI will take advantage of this as well. You've been warned. IC has been disabled. Oh, what's this? Your occupation has ended. Why? What's going on? Well, occupation pay only works whilst at war. So how do we take advantage of that? So, teal key. No CB. We are now allowed to declare war anytime we see fit. Amazing. Occupy paint. And here we take all this land. Yep. All of it. All the victory points. Every single one. And if we check 
The war itself. Oh, 100% capitulation. Goodbye, Turkey. Oh, what with Romania? Let's do the same. Take all their victory points with occupation paint. 99%. 100. And we take all of Turkey. It's just that easy. Oh, no. Turkey has caused a lot of world tension. How do we reflect that in game? Threat. Let's say 30. And if you notice in the top right now, world tension will increase by 30%. So you want to start a game where maybe, I say, France has caused 100% world tension. What kind of impact will that have on the world overall? Will the allies form? Will Germany side with them? What will happen? You are the dungeon master. You get to decide. Hey, have you ever wanted the civil war to fire earlier than normal? Oh, no problem. Let's tag over to Sov, which is the Soviet Union. We're going to type in civil war democratic soviet union the russian federation is born speaking of russia what if you want some cold war vibes nukes 50 but we've given them 50 nukes but they haven't got the technology for it so how do we give them the technology so we go research underscore icon click now these commands are very long and i don't expect you to remember them so just remember just type the first word hit tab and it'll give suggestions of what it thinks it might be so in this case if i go research it gives me two commands research on click and i type underscore on tab and it fills out the rest for me and then i can go into here and then just research what i want oh, that's right atomic research and nuclear reactors and atomic bombs and then we take off the command because the ai likes to spam those commands trust me don't let the ai get away with that and then we go get air superiority and drop one of our 50 nukes on Stalingrad. The nuking of Stalingrad. Historical game, by the way. So you ever wanted to know what it would be like to have nukes in 936? Well, now you can. How do we take this one step further? What if I don't want air superiority? What if I don't want strategic bombers? What if I don't even want nukes research? What if I don't even want nukes? But I want a nuke. Tab. Debug underscore nuking. Now you are free to nuke anywhere in the world, regardless of conditions. Nuke Rome, Nuke Paris, Nuke Berlin, Nuke London, all at the same time. Boom. And uh, the graphic did not fire. But you get the idea. They, they got nuked. Trust me. Can we see? There we go. Boom. So what would it be like if Germany got nuked instead of Japan? Now you have the power to do that. But Dave, what if I don't want to go to war? What if I don't want to fight battles? What if I just want to conquer land by console command? Easy. Let's tab over to Czechoslovakia, CZE. And we're going to annex the neighbors around us. Annex, command, space, AUS for Austria. Annex, Hungary, HUN. Annex, Yug for Yugoslavia. And finally, Annex, Romania. Beautiful. And now we have the option to form the Austrian-Hungarian Empire democratically as Czechoslovakia. The true Austrian-Hungarian capital is Prague, the most historical game. Let's take this another step further. What if I don't even want to play the game? TLK, observe. We are now a mere spectator. Drew Dernal mode activated. With this activated, you can select observe and then observe a certain country. So you can see what technology they're doing, see what their division templates are. If you click this button whilst observing that country, you will take over it. Boom. Now we are playing as Sweden. Wait, hang on a second. I can observe, but I have to look at a certain nation and I've got this ugly interface. How do I get rid of the interface? Hold control and F9. No more interface. We have entered the beginning of the spiffing Brit once upon a time. Anyway, control F9 to bring it back. Let's switch out to the Soviet Union. Tag Sov. And we want to offer peace. How do we offer peace? Well, what we can do is yes, man. Meaning all options of the game are possible now. And the AI will always accept. But unfortunately, we do not meet the requirements to click this. So we need to remove those requirements. So we're going to go no CB which removes all those requirements. So now we have the option to offer peace to the Russian Federation, which results in the Russians winning because it's a civil war and there can only be one real Russia, right? Putin Russia. Be aware that AI can use these commands. So once you've activated them, make sure you disable them because the world will go apeshit mad if you leave these turned on. You have been warned. Let's switch out to England and let's move over to the Middle East. The United Arab Emirates. Wouldn't that make a fantastic nation? And if you notice, in the new expansion La Resistance, you're able to have resistance and compliance. What if you could modify those numbers? So type resistance space 100. 100% 100 resistance and the nation of the United Arab Emirates with this guy has revolted. What about Qatar? Release. And uh, Yemen, which fun of Yemen already exists, so it's 
Federation of South Arabia to Yemen's historical game. Trust me, look it up. It's a historical game. That happened. There was two Yemen's at one point. And also, you can do the exact opposite as well. So let's say Ghana compliance 100. And if we weren't democratic, we could make this into a collaboration state. So how do we flip ideology? That's a good question. The way I like to do it is add party popularity of the, then you need to put the letter in. Then you have to pop in the ideology you want to flip to, in this case, C for communism, and then 100% support. If we pop onto the UK, we see we're 100% red, but we have not actually changed ideology. All we've done is change the percentage of party popularity. As you can see, 100% for the CPGB, but we're still democratic. To flip, you need to select the referendum. And funnily enough, Britain doesn't actually have the referendum. So we are going to have to use another command. So let's show off another console command. Set ruling party to C. And we are now communist. Create a collaboration government in Ghana. Marvelous. British Ghana. A compassionate gentleman. Of course, he's British. One of the frustrating things at the start of the game is lack of experience. And there's a few nations that suffer from this. One of them is America. Tag USA. We type in XP space 50. And we gain 50 XP for land, navy, and air. Oh, you can just type XP and max it out at 500 apiece. Trust me, the next expansion, that might come more in handy. Hmm. And also one issue America has is lack of war support. How about if America had joined the war really early? War support, 100. It's 35 right now. It's 100. And also, maybe we need to be more stable. A warmongering America that is also stable. ST, 100. We now have 100 stability. What's that, you ask? What if America was unbelievably broken. Research, space, all. Now we have all the research. I mean everything. I mean, I mean every single doctrine stacked on top of each other. Hey, if you want a challenge and all your buddies want to play as the Axis and you want to take on a steroid infused United States, hey, this is an option for you. Be aware the divisions will have an absolute ridiculous amount of organization. These guys are going to fight for a very long time before they give up. 167 organization. That's pretty insane. I'd imagine the next way of taking it a little step further is typing ALE. What does ALE stand for? All latest equipment. And you get 10,000 of all of the latest equipment. They go wait a day and yeah, that's right. You've got 10K of everything. I guess they were really behind on guns because they're still behind on them. They must have been behind by 20K. Now they're only behind by 9.5K. Now you thought occupation paint was brutal. Uh, let's take it one step further. Space TP. It's teleporting. Your divisions now teleport. <laughs> uh... I guess it's almost like occupation paint, but now they're moving at lightning speed. You thought you had speed with Stellaris? Uh, not anymore. This is speed. This is a question I guess a lot of you are going to be asking is that how do you speed the game up? So there's a few things you can do. One, you can turn the AI off. Be aware the game will be unbelievably easy. You can also turn the weather off. You know, weather has been disabled. Canada now has all year round clear skies. Amazing. This is definitely not a historical timeline. And finally, you can delete all units. This deletes all units apart from air wings. Why not air wings? I don't know. There you go. Everything is gone apart from your air wings. This is a really good way of starting the game with a complete clean slate. If we go five speed now, you can see that. Oh my goodness. It's so fast. So fast. Let's change to Iraq. I-R-Q. And we are now as Iraq. And one option we've got is to unite Arabia. A united Arabian Iraq. Just flows off the tongue. But I can't do that unless I control Saudi Arabia, Italian states in Africa, French states in Africa, British states in Africa. Ah, it's, it's a bit of an uphill battle, I'll give you that. Let's make it easy. Decision, no checks. Boom. All decisions are now available to me at your fingertips. Unite Arabia. We are now... <laughs> Arabia that just consists just of Iraq. Now, you're probably thinking this is silly. Why would you ever want to do that? The beauty of this is all the territory you would have occupied is now cause. So this is really fun. You get to push out Iraq, take cause, build your factories up, build up your manpower, and everything you conquer is your core state. This is so much fun. If you want a little bit of a challenge and a reason to expand, this is it. Shame there isn't a uh, core map mode, though. Paradox, come on, bro. Add a claims core map mode, please. Please. Also in Live Resistance, they added a bunch of spy stuff. So how do we do the spy stuff? So we go agency, uh, instant. And now if you get your agency, it's instant. Amazing. Agency autocomplete. And this means that everything gets researched. So freebies. 
Also, when you've got instant enabled, your spies will be up here immediately. And also, we'll build networks at a ridiculous rate. Like, I don't know, like 10,000% faster. Same time, we'll do PP. And we'll go for the elusive gentleman. We have an extra spy now. And we go for you. And then you go. Go here. Let's do an operation. Do a collaboration government. Two of you guys. Commence when ready. Operations immediate. Taking time to complete. That's not good. So op operation dot instant. Just going to need to wait for the equipment now. Uh, I guess we can do ALE. Give them all the equipment. Boom. Done. And they've just completed the collaboration state instantly. Amazing. And now you can hop into collaboration. See, you've done, you've done more than a third. 45%. There are some other options as well. Debug. Just debug without the T. And you hop into decisions there and you've got lots of cool spy options. This gives us plus 99 operative slots. I kid you not. You now have uh, a lot of extra spies. I believe there's a hard cap at 10 now. So if you thought four was too many, then um, got 10 now. No one's messing with you. Trust me. All right, we're on the home stretch, boys. And I've saved the best to last. Okay. So next up, what about generals? So let's drop these divisions, assign them to an army, and select Erwin Rommel. Now, Rommel may have been seen as one of the most skilled generals of World War II. But what if he was better than that? Allow traits. Allowed. If we hop into here now, we see he has the option to go for any trait. And yeah, there are a lot of traits here that aren't used specifically for Germany. Anti-Stalinist loyalties. Interesting. A substance addict. <laughs> um... Wow, bearer of artillery. Hmm. So if you wanted to, you could go for, I don't know, infantry leader, panzer expert, combined arms. He also likes horses, who doesn't? Infantry, adaptable. And do you know what? He likes deserts and swamps and hills and mountains and urban and ranger and jungles. And he is well and truly now a god. Oh my God, look at all these traits. And also secretly, he is a communist sympathizer. <laughs> Be aware, if you select one of these traits, you may actually crash the game. So I'm giving you the heads up, all right? Let's talk about focuses. So how do you complete them quickly? You go focus dot auto complete. So now if I select one of them, they will simply just automatically complete. Want to go to war with the USSR? Yeah, the option's there now. Declare. It's that easy. So the question now is that what if I want to do something that's locked behind a certain requirements and I can't do them? For instance, demand sedan and requires me to have 725,000 manpower, blah, blah, blah. Focus dot no checks. And now we can demand Sudan. Amazing. Now you can combine that with focus auto complete, meaning you can complete something you shouldn't be able to do and do it instantly. Oh, wow. The Sudan is now mine. Interesting. Even though Czechoslovakia doesn't even exist. Wow. I bet Austria is very upset right now. This is interesting. Fate of Czechoslovakia. What's going to happen here? Oh, <laughs> we've taken all of Austria Hungary. Is this super Germany? Are we playing Victoria too? And finally, we have focus, ignore, free rescuits. I'm probably saying that wrong. And it just means that you can just jump onto any focus anywhere, anytime. So we're going to assassinate Mussolini. And we were successful. Uh, and we now have the Kingdom of Italy. Oh, yeah. Goodbye. Mussolini assassinated. And goodbye, Czechoslovakia. All the important events. Speaking of events, last but definitely not least. Let's switch out to France. Event. Space. France.11. Propose a union between France and Britain. And and they said no. And Vichy France was born. We do it again. Agree to the union. Agree to the union. Hmm. I don't think the French people would be too happy about that. Hmm. What about Germany? Event. Germany.71. The Führer is dead. We want Hermann Göring or Heidrich Himmler. We have Mr. Himmler. A guy who definitely didn't do any bad things in the war. Oh boy. And tag Poland. Event space Poland dot 12. Wojciech never drops a crate. And then we spam a division. Deploy the division. And we have a new general. And he's a bear. The bearer of artillery. Because he's a bear. Comment below the console command that will benefit you the most.